So the first step is to take the wool, the 30 grams of wool that you've either got from my kit or you've sorted yourself, yourself at home and you want to divide it up into 12 equal parts. And the way we do that is I would take your quantity, if you've got one of my kits it'll look like this, it's called a bat, and I'm just going to halve it, a bit like unzipping a jacket. Tease it apart while it's on a flat surface. Roughly, this doesn't have to be super exact. And you should have then two equal halves. Then from those halves, again, lengthways, you're gonna go into thirds. So if you work out where half is, then just go slightly over to either the left or the right. You can see I'm just sort of holding it in both my hands and almost like you're tearing a piece of paper. And then again with this piece, into three. And if you do that for this piece as well, you'll end up with six. And then if you halve them all in the middle here, then you've got 12 pieces in total. What I want you to do then is put those pieces to the side and forget about them for the time being into a completely dry space and forget about them. And there we go, yours should look something like this, 12 equal parts of loose, teased apart fibres. And the looser, the more fluffy and teased apart they are, the better. So you might want to spend five or 10 minutes just making sure they look something like this. The next step is to blow up one of your balloons. For this, I'm gonna use a balloon pump. Size wise, you can see this end here. If you just hold, don't tie a knot in it just yet, just hold it and it should measure. If you hold the garden twine, the garden string that I gave you in my kit, if you just hold it at the top there, wrap it around and it should meet, the other end should meet right at the top. Hopefully you can see what I've done there. And that's 60 centimetres. If you don't have one of my kits, then just use a tape measure to measure 60 centimetres around from the top and then tie a knot. You don't have to do this next step, but I like to sellotape down this little nobule so that it doesn't interfere when I'm making my pod. So from here, we're gonna attach the string and we're going to do this at the beginning stage so that when we're felt in, it becomes integrated into the piece as a whole. So you don't have to attach it later on. It's already there when we've, we've made the pod because you're going to make it inside out. So we can attach it at this stage. So fold, fold 60 centimetres in half. And then I'm going to, where I've sellotaped this nobule, this loose end down at the top, I'm going to also sellotape down at this halfway point and it might take three, four or five pieces of sellotape just to get that sellotape down and fixed. To make this a bit easier when we're working so that we don't have this loose end getting in the way, I'm just going to wrap it up and tie a loose knot. It's just a knot that you're going to be able to undo at the end quite easily. Next, if you fill up your jug with warm soapy water, so warm water and just add a couple of blobs of soap in there and swish it around. Take the yarns, the three lots of one meter length of yarn. For this, you only need two of them, so place one aside for later. I'm gonna start with the thicker one, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach them to the surface of the balloon and they're gonna stick a lot easier with water. So I'm just dumping them into this soapy water and this is where it gets a little bit fun and then you can just wrap them around. Randomly, however you like.
For this demonstration, I'm only going to do two, but if you were to do this again, or if you've got your own at home, you can add as many or as few as you like. And in fact, you could add any kind of natural bits and pieces at this stage, cottons, like we talked about the alpacas, any natural fibers or yarns you've got at home, you can attach them and because we're going to felt over the surface of this, they would um, they would appear as decoration on the surface when we've, when we've finished. We're now going to start to add the wool fibers and we're going to do this in two stages. So only take for now six and leave six to one side for a second layer. How we're going to do this is with your sponge. Have your flannel ready to the side just to wipe your hands with. Wet hands are like velvet velcro to wool fibers. So one by one we're going to add these fibers on the surface of the balloon. So that's why you can see now I was saying it's important to have the fibers as teased apart and open as you possibly can. Then you can lay this down in any direction you choose. And the trick is to take a damp sponge after each piece is laid down on the surface with some water and use the water like glue and just blot down the fibre. You can add soap as you go along and it might help the fibres stick to the surface of the balloon. I'm going to now spend my time putting the rest of these pieces onto this balloon and don't forget to go a completely different angle so you can layer things, you can have things overlapping. The idea is to use these six pieces now to cover the surface of the balloon so that you can't see any of the balloon. Um, through. So by the end you won't be able to see any more of the balloon poking through. In the playback I'll be speeding back this section so now's the time to hit the pause button and do this in the background and rejoin the tutorial when you've completed this stage. For the area where you've got the string at the top as a kind of a um, as a loop, you want to be making sure you push some wool fibers um, onto the balloon surface, right over the, the top where where the string meets the balloon. If you're doing this with kids and that might be something that's a bit tricky, you can actually skip this attaching string to the balloon stage completely. You can just leave that and then you're, you're just working with a balloon with no string attached. It might be a bit easier and at the end you can just attach the string by making a hole into the pod. wool should, teased apart, should cover your balloon without any of the balloon being visible. If you do see any bits of balloon, you can either push the bits of fibre around to cover those holes up, or you can take some more wool. 30 grams is a minimum amount to make one of these pods. However, you can use more than 30 grams on your, on your pod, so don't worry about using too much wool. You just need to make sure all the holes are covered. Now take some soap. Rub in your hands and begin to pat the surface. You can see I've put my flannel down just under here to, to catch some water. If you're on a table at top, it's going to start to run off the edge of the table top. So it's quite handy to have your flannel there and you can just wring it out as it gets too saturated. So you're patting down the surface, not necessarily rubbing, but if you can rub without move, disturbing the fibres too much, then do so. The idea is that you're building up slowly and gently to being able to, to rub the surface as, as with, with more force, with more aggression. And felting occurs with natural fibres when the fibres are exposed to moisture and friction. The fibres have got lots of scales, like an umbrella spokes, 
down the side of the fibres and the water opens up those scales. When you rub with your hands and with the soap, all the fibres moving together, those fibres lock and join in to other fibres that are close by. And then the scales close down and that's, that's how the textile is formed. Sometimes it's easier to hold the balloon with one hand and rub with the other rather than rubbing both at the same time. But the key is to look at those fibres and just check they're not moving around too much. You're working with small children, just give them a helping hand at this point, but they should be having fun. It's a very tactile activity. I'm going to carry on rubbing now, so if you want to pause this tutorial, when I edit this I'm going to play it back at a little bit of speed. So if you want to hit the pause button and return, hi Tilly, and this is my cat, and return to the tutorial when you've completed this next stage. After five minutes, you just want to dry off. You can see it started to get quite so soapy, the surface. We're just going to blot, blot the surface. And for this, I'm just going to use one of my towels. I'm going to lay it down on the flat surface. And you can see with me, some of, some of my rubbing was probably a little bit too aggressive. Some holes have started to appear. So I'm just using my fingers to, to push the fibers back over where the holes are. And I'm just going to gently rock over the surface of the balloon now and it'll just blot it, it'll just take away some of the water, some of the soap and it'll help those fibres to stick down. Just do that for two or three minutes. Even this feels really nice doing this actually. And you'll be able to see more clearly where your holes are. Next step is to take the length of yarn that you have left over. There was three in the kit originally. You've used two of them. You should have one more left that's about a metre long. And I'm just going to now just wrap around the balloon randomly again. And what this will do is you won't see this at all in the finished item, but it'll just help hold some of those fibres together uh, and it'll just give it a little bit of strength. And now we're gonna, now we're gonna add the last six pieces of yarn to the surface. But this time we're not gonna use the sponge to dab down because you're not gonna be able to see, if you dab down, where you've been and where you've not been. We're just going to lightly pat on the surface, hold with one hand and pat with the other because the moisture on the balloon that's already there will help these fibres stick to the surface. If you've got any patches where the balloon is showing through, now's the time to use the second layer to make sure they're filled in. And you can break these down into smaller sections if you find it easier to work with. And once you're done, we're going to then use the sponge and the water to soak down the surface of the balloon. Tilly. Pat down as you go, add soap, use your flannel nearby to just help soak up some of that excess water. As you're pushing down on the balloon, the water is wanting to escape. And you should slowly be able to hold the balloon in one hand and gently rub with the other. If you're finding that the fibres are moving around too much and you're worried that they're going to come away, go back to patting and it might be that the fibres aren't completely soaked through. You might need to add more water, add more soap. Don't be scared of adding, adding lots of water, lots of soap. And you can even just bounce up and down instead of patting if you find that easier. Just turn, rotate as you go, but eventually you want to work up to being able to rub the surface with one hand without the fibres being too disturbed. Some people find it easier to use the water bottle 
with the holes in the lid, that's fine too, whatever works for you. If you need to drain some of the excess water or soap off the surface for whatever reason, just as before, take one of your towels and just gently rock, rock the balloon on the surface. So now I'm going to carry on rubbing, wet rubbing, and you might want to hit the pause button here. It's good, I'm going to do this for about 10 minutes, quite a while. This is the longest step, the longest stage in the whole process. And what I'm also going to do is make use of my washing up bowl filled with water and soap. And I'm going to rub it in here, turning as I go, so that one side of the balloon is going to be of the pod is going to be continuously getting fresh water. Eventually the fibres will start to hang together, bond together and actually the whole fibre um, blanket over the surface of this balloon will start to shrink. Shrinkage can happen up to 50% and your finished pod will be, depending on how, how hard you felt, it could be 20-50% to 50 smaller. It's just like shrinking a woolly jumper in the wash. Okay, I've spent a good 10 minutes rubbing this now in the water, I've not got the string caught up somehow, I've felt it in between the gap, the loop of where the string is attached to the top. My arms are aching, which is good. <laughs> A great exercise for the upper body. And now I'm going to use the same towel again just to blot off the surface. You can either hand blot in the way I'm doing here or you can put your towel down on a flat surface and gently rock your balloon, your pod over the surface. It's really starting to take shape now. 